Good afternoon, everybody. It's David Perlmutter from Quantum Listing, and thank you for being with us today for our webinar on adding and optimizing your listings with Quantum Listing. Today, we are going to be in the very capable hands of our customer success advocate, Julia, who is going to take us through our program. Julia, take it away. Thank you, David. And for those of you who don't know, David is the founder and CEO of Quantum Listing, and he also is a broker like many of you. So he understands the pain points that, that many have felt, and he strives to use Quantum Listing in order to not only help the industry, he also is able to use it for his own brokerage, which is always really cool when we're testing out new features. Um, and you'll see some of that today. So um, today is really going to be about our website. We do a large variety of webinars. Some of them are really presentation focused. Some of them are um, more demo. And today's is going to be a lot more demo oriented. We really want to get you guys hands on onto the site, adding your listings and learning after you add your listings, how you can then optimize those listings. Um, so we'll quickly tell you about quantum listing. Um, then we will show you how to add a listing. We'll also show you how to make the most of your listing. There's a variety of different tactics. Um, we'll have time at the end for questions. We'll make sure that you get our support and contact info. Um, and then we also wanted to let you guys know that our next webinar is going to be with Realnex on March 24th, which is two weeks from today. Um, all of our webinars are on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, so you can block off your calendar and know that that's, that's when they'll be taking place. Um, so just so you guys know, Quantum Listing, we take pride in the fact that we give your listings maximum exposure by offering a, a large range of features for you to market your properties without breaking your budget. And really, without breaking your budget is the key here. I uh, will explain this at the end, but we are $89 a year for unlimited listings. People always stop me when I say that because they think that I'm saying $89 a month. That is not the case, $89 per year for unlimited listings. Um, as you can see, like I said, you can post an unlimited number of listings with the ability to market them seamlessly on all forms of popular social media. So we will show you that as well. Um, the other thing that's really big is that we do not have a paywall for people to view your properties. Not only do we not have a paywall, we also do not have a registration wall. So somebody coming to our site, they can check out your property and they can call you right away with no hesitation, no forms for them to fill out. It's right to you. And uh, that's a big part of our site. So um, in the demo, like I said, we'll first be, I'll be walking you guys through how to add a listing. Um, a couple of key tips there are uh, being tactical with your listing title. And David has a very good story about this, which basically we figured out a way for your listings to greatly increase the chance that they show up at the top of Google searches in your desired market. Um, so we'll tell you a little bit about that and we'll actually show you some screenshots. Um, another thing just to note is the importance of listing images. So this means not only having images, but having high quality to the best that you can. Um, and if you are someone who uses build out, make sure that your images are coming through from build out. It's really, really easy to do, but it's always amazing how many people forget to do it. And um, we're here to help you out and make sure that your listings come, listing images come through. Um, so then once we get a listing up, we're going to show you how to optimize your listings. Um, so the first thing would be how to share your listings on social media. Second is how to post your listing in a state haves and wants group. So everybody who joins Quantum Listing gets assigned to a group based on their state, their geographic location, and you can actually chat with other members and post your listings there and send your link of your listing. Um, 
The next thing is how to promote your listing, which is a way to bring your listing to the very top of searches in your market. It's a very, very nominal price, but as you probably know, most people do not go beyond page one or two of search results. So this is really, really important and really helpful. Um, the next thing is promoting your brand. So this is really fun and we'll show you some examples, but you essentially can create your own little ad that will help you uh, create if you need help that either shows your, uh, your personal brand, so maybe it's yourself, um, or it could be your company. And it can include your logo, your contact information. We usually collaborate on it in order to, uh, to fine tune it. Um, and what the great part of it is that, we'll show you this, but when, um, when you promote your brand, you pick your market. And then when people see the, the brand ad, when they click on that, it brings them to your quantum listing profile that has all of your listings. So that is another way to optimize your listings. Um, the next thing that we'll talk about is the Google Display Network. So some of you may have already used Google Display Ads. And basically what Quantum Listing does is we're essentially the middleman between you and Google. So you don't have to worry about any of the issues that sometimes people have when they use Google Display Ads. You essentially can pay $25 and you're gonna get generally there's obviously no promises and it depends on the market, but generally speaking, we see when people get pay $25, they're usually getting between 25,000 and 35,000 impressions. And usually on average, we've had more than one click per dollar spent, which compared to other Google ads and, and Facebook ads and LinkedIn ads is we've done them ourselves for quantum listing and every single time we're blown away by this. Um, the next two things, so is our email features. There's two ways to do this, but one is you can actually send out your own email blast with your own proprietary list of contacts. Um, in Quantum Listing, we actually also have our own email blast that we'll do on your behalf. Um, so there's two email features. And then the last one, which is probably my favorite, is for you to become a Quantum Lister. So essentially, Quantum Listers, they become a part of our blog series, and we ask them some questions, we, we send them a form, um, you know, questions about the industry, what they think about commercial real estate tech, uh, how many listings they have, really just kind of a comprehensive uh, Q&A, and then we post those questions and answers on our blog with all of your listings, so we have a live iframe of your profile that includes your listings, we post this on our weekly blog and then we send it out to our entire email distribution list. So if you're here today, you're on our distribution list and you can imagine how many other people also are. So we really, really love helping people to, with that. Um, I wrote here that this makes you famous both on quantum listing and Google because not only are people going to see you on, um, see this blog on our site, but a very large amount of people who have become quantum listers. When you search their name on Google, the quantum lister is one of the first things that pops up, um, which, you know, compared to other, other pages that you might see, this is a really, really, this is like an interview about you. So it's very, very good exposure. And we always are really excited to see that. So, um, oh, this is just an example. So David, do you wanna give a quick uh, overview of, of this? Um, our listing titles and descriptions. Um, quick little story here. Absolutely. So, uh, if, I don't know, a couple months ago, one of our members got in touch with us. He had a retail listing in Greenwich, Connecticut. And if you searched, uh, you know, Greenwich Avenue retail for lease, his listing came up on the first page of Google. But if you did Greenwich retail for lease, it wasn't. And we decided to have an experiment. So we said, well, wh why don't you do a second version of your listing and have it just say Greenwich Retail. Actually, I think we said to just change the listing title to Greenwich Retail for Lease. And within a week, I think it was like six days, his listing then showed up on the first page of Google searches. So... You know, with some of my own listings for promoter properties, I started 
doing similar things. And like within a week, they were all showing up on the first page of Google. So what we would kind of figured out from this is that uh, Google has a very strong preference for what's called the natural language search. People more and more are holding up their phones and asking their phone to, they're saying, you know, find me, you know, retail for lease in Greenwich. And they're not saying find me a prime retail corner. They're not, you know, being, or the address, the address is key. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, what we really found out from this experiment was that if you create what's called a long tail keyword, and that's that mirrors the way people actually speak for, and talk about something, the way they're more likely to be searching themselves on the internet for what it is that you have, the more likely that you're going to end up on that first page of Google. So, you know, save all the marketing jargon for the description. I'm not saying get rid of it because it's all helpful information and it, you know, helps. Uh, you know, people understand what it is that you're trying to sell or lease. But when it comes to the title, include the town, the asset class, and the transaction type. You don't really need much more than that. You know, you could say yeah. in the state, but if you include that, you have a much better shot of ending up on the front page of a Google search. Yeah, and, and so after that happened, we, we told another member about this and, and they did the same thing. Um, and so they were they have a medical condo uh, for sale and originally they had named the listing, just their listing address. Um, but as David mentioned, if you're looking for space, you're not searching the address because you don't know what the address is. So we, we told them to do this and actually what was pretty cool, um, and this is a good transition to our live demo, is that uh, just before the webinar, I was checking this and I searched that exact same search that you can see on the, the screenshot here. Um, so here it was the second result and now it's the first result um, above LoopNet. Um, and the other thing that's pretty cool about, about this too is um, on this particular search, the, the Greenwich Avenue Retail for Lease, all of these links that are popping up, these are all search pages. So these are, you know, search retail space for lease in Greenwich. Um, all of these examples are. However, with ours that shows up on the first page, it's not the search page for Greenwich Avenue, it's the actual listing. So it brings your audience directly to your listing so they don't even have to uh, go through with the search. So um, we're really excited about that, and we're we're working to kind of continue to implement it when people are 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 adding listings. Um, so this is our live demo. So what we're gonna do is I first just want to show you guys how easy it is to to add a listing. Um, and I think actually what I will do is um, just kind of show you. Um, tell me if can you guys still see my screen right here? Uh, can you see the, the quantum listing homepage, David? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, so if you're not yet a member of quantum listing, all you have to do is click this green join button. Um, you can go ahead and type in your name. Um, so I'm just going to type in, uh, this will be a test account, but you guys can go ahead and do this and follow along if you'd like, or you can uh, wait for the replay and, and do it yourself. Um, but so once you, uh, type in this information. Um, you want to select that you're an individual account member unless you have a bunch of agents who you want on, on your profile. Um, there is a basic membership, but the basic membership is just for people who want to utilize some of our search features but aren't adding listings. Um, so all you have to do is that, create your account, um, oop, a, email address already exists with that one. Um, so all you have to do is create your order. Uh, when you start, you just, you get the first 30 days free. And then after that, it's just the $89 a year, like I mentioned. So you can go ahead and create your order. And then uh, 
it'll bring you to your profile page and um, you can start adding your listings from there. Um, so I'm now gonna show you guys how you add a listing, um, but I did just wanna show you that, how you can get started in case you guys aren't members yet. Um, so it is very, very easy to add a listing, um, but we do wanna walk you through and just point out a few things. Um, and I'm just gonna stop here. If anyone has any questions so far and what's what's been said, um, feel free to, to jump in or um, David's monitoring the chat too. Um, any, uh, while waiting for questions, let me just uh, tell you about another thing that I have started implementing in the last several months. And you know, part of it is kind of uh, helping customers with COVID, but uh, there's another benefit to it as well. And that is when I have a office listing or a shopping center listing, what I've started doing is creating a listing for each space that's available. So with some of the other listing services where you have to pay for the number of listings, you know, this becomes cost prohibitive. But because we give you unlimited listings for your $89.99 a year, it is kind of, you know, why not? And the benefits of this, you know, so are a couple. One, if you know, you want to put one as uh, one listing office for lease and another one office for rent because you want to kind of, you know, people who aren't real estate professionals might use either term. You can do that. The other thing, uh, which is really important, particularly today with you know COVID, is that it makes it much easier for a prospective tenant to see the pictures and the video and the floor plan for an individual, each individual space. So this way they don't have to sort of sort their way through and figure out which picture is for which space. It makes it a, a, a kind of a no brainer for them. And then the third thing is you know, the more listings you have there, you know, the more likely one of them is going to, at least one of them is going to show up on that first page of your uh, Google or other internet search. So there's you know, a few compelling reasons to do it. I, it takes more time, uh, but it, it's been effective. Dave, can I ask a question? Sure, please do. All right. So <clears throat> it's just so with with the. Uh, with KW, right? It, you know, commercial. Is this integrated with? I said something that it was integrated with Buildout. That is correct. So you would go to Buildout, go to the syndication uh, section on Buildout, uh, check that the box that you wanted to syndicate to us. It'll ask you to uh, create a username and password if you haven't done it already. And once you save that, uh, you have to. There's another box that you should make sure you check, otherwise you have to do it for each individual listing, and that is that you have the rights to all the images that you're uh, syndicating. Uh, if you don't check that box, then the images don't flow through, and people are, you know, magpies are attracted to the bright, shiny things, so if your listing has pictures, you'll definitely get, you know, on our site, you'll get clicks, plus when search engines index it, there'll be more content for them to index and you'll show up higher in search engine rankings as a result of that as well. Right. Okay, so when we do that, uh, when we syndicate it, does it take, so we put it in build out, we syndicate it, does it take all the information and automatically put it onto Quantum or do we have to transfer it over? No, it does it automatically, so. Automatically, how about videos? Uh, videos, I think you, I don't know about videos. Does Buildout allow you to add videos? I yes. think YouTube videos come in, um, but not not all the different types of videos. But what the good thing is, is that um, I can just show you real quick here. So um, any of this that comes in, it links back to the Buildout or the KW website. So yep. for example, I, uh, this one here, um, all you have to do is click on this additional URL and it will uh, bring you right to, to their, uh, the listing that would have any, any relevant videos if that's the case. 
Um, I have seen some videos come in, but I, I think it's still something that um, I'm not sure if they all do. Okay, <clears throat> so you are integrated with Build Up through KW. Is this a KW site, or is there other companies that are on it? Uh, there are other companies. Uh, there, are all sorts of companies use quantum listing. It's not just the uh, KW. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, can we integrate with with uh, any company or just KW? When, like you said, the agents can talk back and forth to each other. Uh, yeah, so you can. Uh, I'm not sure I understand your question. Uh, <clears throat> well, she was saying that uh, you can, in, you know, it was integrated where quantum um, agents can talk to each other. Oh, yeah, we Is have, there anything? Yes. So there's a chat uh, like, uh, chat icon, Julia, if you can point that. Yep. So on everybody's profile, there's that little chat icon. So you can start a, a chat with any of our members. And uh, if they're not on quantum listing at the time that you're sending that chat, they'll get a notification uh, via email at the end of the day saying, you know, there's a new message waiting for you. Also, when they come to quantum listing, there is a little notification bell at the top right next to the uh, uh, right, right there, like you, and that lights up green when you have a message, uh, a notification waiting for you. Okay. Green with is there <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead. What was the question? Is there is there a way of seeing the members that are that are on? Um, can you like click and see all the members that are that are there? Is this? Uh, if you go to your group, uh, which we will ask Julia, I guess, we'll, when, after you join, we assign you to a group based on your geography, and then you can join other groups as well. Um, when you are Looking at your group, you'll be able to see who is uh, on at that time. So you can see. Okay. Yeah. So you have quite a few on it right now. So you have like 97 pages of. Okay. Yeah, and then also that's just within his own group. Um, and then also you can search users. Um, at the top here, so you could type in like, say, you were wondering if uh, you know, John Smith is uh, a member. Um, as you're typing it in, it will auto-populate with, with people's names, um, so you can search for people that way, too. Um, is, there a way of, is there a way of searching the like territory, like if I put Rhode Island in? Um, so if you, when, once you join, we'll assign you to the Rhode Island group, and then you'd be able to do that. Um, okay. But another thing you can do is, like, you can type in kw.com. Uh, and it should kind of populate with with all that. See all these emails; they're all kw.com. So then you can kind of scroll through and, and look for people. Um, and so you can chat icon on the right there. You can start chatting right from there as well. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So we could send Scott Forrester's guy. We can send him a message uh, right there and start talking. So yeah. Um, okay. Cool. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick how to add a listing um, in case you're not coming in from build out. So it's super easy, but um, so you'll look for this little menu right here. Um, and you'll click on listings. Um, and then all you need to do is click this re uh, green plus button. And you can see when you hover over it, it says add listing. Um, go ahead and click on that. <clears throat> but yet, if we're syndicating through uh, build out, we don't have to do that, right? That is correct. That's correct. Yep. Well, you Sorry. can. Do, the reason uh, one of not only can you post your listings, but you can also post your wants on our site. So, if you were going to post a want, uh, then you click on the wants uh, menu item, and uh, then you'll. And go through the same process where you hit the green plus sign and uh, start adding your want from that. So yeah. my Chrome's having some uh, bandwidth issues. So I'm gonna try for I'm gonna try for Internet Explorer and we'll see or Microsoft Edge, I guess.
Might need to see if your screen's faster, David. Uh, let's see. We'll try this. Out. I think this happens with GoToMeeting. Alrighty, so like I said, you click this green uh, plus button and then um, it'll bring you this form. And everything, like I said, is intuitive, but um, one thing that's important to keep in mind is that when you type in the location, um, so let's just pick a random location. Um, we're gonna go with Cambridge. Um, make sure that you select it from the drop down menu. So sometimes people will just um, press enter right there and you really need to see it on the map. Um, so that's one thing just to keep in mind. Uh, the other thing is the listing title, like David had said, um, this is you know where you wanna be just thinking about what your audience is gonna be searching for in Google. So uh, retail space or lease on Main Street in Cambridge. Uh, you can go ahead and yeah, go ahead. I would say that if uh, you're ever stuck with what uh, subject or title to put um, on a listing, one of the ways you can sort of get ideas is type in, uh, you know, do a Google search of your own for whatever it is that you're marketing and see what else is on the front page and, you know, feel what you can from the ones that are already on the front page because maybe you'll be able to knock one of those guys off. That's a good point, yeah. Um, other important things to remember is that if you leave the uh, rent, if you leave it as 0.00, .00 or you just don't touch it, it will show up as inquire. Um, we think that's a good tactic sometimes if you wanna try to bring more people in or, um, you know, a lot of people, David, I think you do that quite often too. Um, so that's something that you can do and just, just know that if you leave it there, it will show up as inquire. Actually, um, so can I tell you a little broker secret? That is sure. why I put zero a lot of times is because the landlords that I'm working with want me to have it, uh, uh, want people to ask for it because right. of existing tenants that are up for renewal. Uh, they don't want the existing tenant to know, particularly if somebody has been there for a long time and their options are higher than the, than the uh, current rental rate, they'd rather not uh, have that information be public because it's a weapon that the tenant can use against the landlord. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so then you just have to type in every different parameter. So. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how easy it is. Um, make sure that you check that you have the rights to all of the images. Um, I'm not going to publish this just because we don't want any falsehoods here. Because actually, when you post a listing, it automatically gets added to all of our social media channels and then blasted out. So that's part of one of the, the main things with quantum listing is that we, we share everything everywhere. Um, so. I'm not gonna make a fake listing because then people on our LinkedIn or Twitter or Facebook page might start inquiring about one main street in Cambridge and we don't want that. We want them inquiring about the listings that are on the market. Um, so all you have to do is click save there. Um, it's, uh, I think this took like less than a minute or two to do. Um, there are additional parameters that you always can fill in. Um, in the additional URL, you can add a YouTube link. Um, Oh, you can also add the YouTube link here where it says add YouTube slash Vimeo link. That makes sense. And, and actually, um, now that I see this, I'm remembering to answer your question. I think the Vimeos from Build Out actually do come in because I've seen that a little bit. I think that's from Build Out Elite. So um, I'm, I'm quite sure that those do. Um, so really, that's how you add a listing. It, it's super, super easy. But we want to show you guys the fun stuff um, once the listings are added. So I'm going to go back to uh, David's page. Um, so the first thing that we talked about was adding or sharing to social media. So I'm going to click on one of David's listings here. And um, there we go. And you can see this red share button. Um, and all you have to do is click on that. And we like to search, we like to share listings to LinkedIn. Um, it's very, very easy. You click that button and then is this a, is this a uh, listing that you want shared on LinkedIn, David? Sure. 
Okay. Don't have a letter of intent out on it yet, so. <laughs> Not sure if this is my Chrome or GoToMeeting, but just did this a minute ago and it worked. Um, I'll try one other one. <clears throat> all right well this isn't working right now but basically all you do is you press oh there we go once i say it's not working then it works so very easily uh usually it's less than 60 seconds you can go ahead and post um your listings directly from our site to, to LinkedIn, to Twitter, to Facebook. Um, we prefer LinkedIn actually, because if you search uh, what is the biggest commercial real estate network, you can see besides uh, CVRE that the, fir the first thing that pops up here is Quantum Listings blog. We're not saying that we're the biggest commercial real estate network, but what we are saying is that the biggest commercial real estate network is LinkedIn. Uh, it has the most commercial real estate professionals on one website, therefore the biggest network in the United States for commercial real estate. So that's why it's important to share your listing to LinkedIn. Um, you can add hashtags, you can um, tag us and then we'll reshare it. Um, and that's how you do that. Um, so then the next thing is the state haves and wants groups, which we already mentioned a little bit, um, but we'll mention this again. So um, basically, like I said, everyone gets added to a group based on their network. And what you can do once you're, when you're in the network is you can uh, share your listing out via kind of group chat. So one thing with that too, is that you can actually, um, you can do this, in um you can do this with actually without you don't even have to describe the listing you can actually just add the the link so um we'll show here um let's see chrome is not liking me today <laughs> All right, well, so basically you pick the listing and then you can just copy and paste it. So I'll actually, I'll go ahead and do that right here. Uh, and you can say, check out this listing. Historic Mohegan Lake restaurant. You can paste it and you can send it out to the group and then they'll all get a notification and they can go ahead and click right on it and go right to the listing. Um, so that is how to share on your haves and wants groups. Um, the next thing that we recommend is that you promote your listing to the top of searches in your market. So um, the way to do that is um, you will go ahead and go to your marketing center and um, I'll show you what it looks like once something's promoted, but it's, it's really cool how quickly it works. Um, but essentially, it's just going to bring your listing to the very top of searches in your market. And what's cool, too, is that it won't only go to the top of listings in, for example, in, uh, in, in Montvale, New Jersey. It will actually go to the very top of searches in the state of New Jersey. So maybe someone's not searching Montvale specifically, but if they search New Jersey, USA, or if they... Uh, we send out statewide email blasts. Um, so we'll send out, check out our New Jersey listings. And when people click on that link, they'll see all the New Jersey listings, but your listing that you promoted will be at the very top. Um, so the way to do that is, there's actually a few ways, but the most easy way to do that is, um, I think, David, all your listings are promoted. <laughs> um, let's see. the. 
Easy. So we'll, we'll promote this one um, also in Montvale, New Jersey. Um, so from your list, from your profile page, you can see this little listing detail, li listing card, and you can click on it, and then you can click promote this listing. And then all you have to do is um, select the listing, and you can pick for either a week, which is two dollars and fifty cents per listing, or a month, which is seven dollars and fifty cents per listing. And then you can go ahead and create an order, and uh, that will check out on PayPal. But because I have the capabilities to override that, I'm going to show you how quickly that listing just got promoted to the top of New Jersey. So um, if you then search New Jersey at the top here and click on that first result, we see that listing that we just promoted. And David's kind of infiltrated this market here, but um, you can see actually if you search other states, so if you search Illinois, um, so this is an example of a listing promotion here. And the reason that you can tell that it's a promoted listing is because it has this little green rectangle around it. Um, and I'm glad that I searched Illinois because here you can see this is the brand promotion earlier. So this is the little advertisement that uh, we can create together. Um, it's 500 by 600 pixels. Um, but really, if you just send me the logo or the information that you want, we can throw it together very easily. And then it's promoted. At the top of your listing. Um, David, do you mind just hitting the mute button? Um, Thank you. Um, so once people click on that, it will bring them to all listings, just like I mentioned. Um, so that is, and in order to promote your brand, you go through the a similar process um, uh, before, but you actually can go to our marketing center, which is another place that you can um, promote your listings. So in our marketing center, there's a bunch of different options. Um, if you wanted to promote your listings, um, just like we did earlier. This is the second way to do it. Um, but you can just click on listing promotion and, and go through with, with the um, steps that are described there. So you just pick uh, either one week or one month and you click create order and then um, it would be exactly what we just did. Um, but for brand promotion, in order to do that, again, you go to the marketing center and you click on brand promotion. And while we're waiting for that, I uh, just mentioned that uh, on, from your profile page, from that left hand uh, side menu, one of the options is a info section. And in that info section, uh, one of the choices you can make is analytics. And so you can see the number of views that your promoted listings or your brand promotion are getting just so you can see whether they're effective or not. And also, you know, on any individual, you, you can see your listings in aggregate of how many views they're getting. And you can also, um, you know, drill down to individual listings. And also each listing detail page has a view count also. So if there are a number of ways that you can get those uh, numbers. And especially if you have to report things like that to your principals on uh, your listings, it's very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, so, um, so you'll just select brand promotion from here. Um, you'll click create order and then you'll just follow the steps that come through there. Um, you'll just need to add your image, which, like I said, it's 500 by 600 pixels. Um, but like I said, don't hesitate if you want to just work with us on designing it. That's very easy to do. And um, we can we can kind of pick the design. I know um, Sue Horowitz, who comes on our webinars every week, um, her and I sent emails back and forth with drafts on it. And then we, we picked the design that we wanted. And you can see uh, Sue's here. Um, she's in California, and uh, 
again, if you search her state, it will show the listings right there. So um, we have her, it's kind of like a business card for her, that's what she wanted. Um, but again, once you click on the brand promotion, it will bring you to all the listings of Sus, and then you can contact her. Um, so the next thing that we want to talk about is our Google display ads, which we had mentioned earlier. And these are really, really exciting. Um, I think about 75% of people who have run a Google display ad have completed and ran a second one because that's how effective that they have been for people. So again, this is us being the middleman between you and, and Google so that you uh, basically you pick your listing and you pick the location that you want it to be advertised in and then uh, it will launch on our Google Display login and our, our Google Display uh, network. And so it's kind of like when you're you're searching a website and you see the the advertisement on the um, right or the left hand side. It's it's not it's not a pop up. Um, and um, we actually have a testimonial on the Google Display ads that really serve it justice more than I can describe. Um, so I'll show you guys that testimonial, which um, one of our users provided unsolicited. They said, this has worked so well for me. Can you please use this testimonial in your webinars? Um, so Becca Carlson, she is a broker and she also is a marketer herself. And so after she used Google Ads, this is what she said. She said, there is a proliferation of listing sites over the last few years. I am partial to co a company called Quantum Listing. In addition to absolutely loving their leadership and their platform, they have a Google ad integration that is staggering. It's literally a couple of clicks, crazy easy, and you can start an ad campaign for a property. I ran two of these last week and I could not believe the results. I did one for my property in Geneva, Geneva and I spent the $25, which is the base rate. It came in at 36,000 views on Google, 17 click-throughs. I think it actually ended up with 35 click-throughs and this was when it was still running. Um, so people use that to get to the site and learn more about the property. And she actually had a showing from this Google ad. It was the only place that she had advertised it at this point. Uh, she said it was a residential broker out in Geneva and there's no other way that they could have found her. Um, the, the end is my favorite part where she says, even as a marketer, she can't stand Google ads. So the fact that we have all this set up is the best thing in the whole wide world. She says it's genius. That's pretty nice, but I'll have to agree. Um, and she goes on to say that she's never had that much exposure for an ad. Um, we can say like with quantum listing, we've done Facebook ads. We've, we've tried out different types of ads and uh, there's a reason that we've kept this feature and that we continue to talk about it week after week. So we re definitely recommend that you try Google Ads. Um, the next way to optimize your listings is to send out an email blast. And so there's actually a couple of ways you can do this. As I mentioned, the first way is to actually send an email to your own proprietary list of contacts. So in order to do that, um, you actually click on the same button that you did to share your listing to LinkedIn. Um, or to Twitter or Facebook. So you click on this red share button and then you just find the email icon. And um, from here you can type in email addresses. Um, so actually at the end of this uh, webinar, if I have time, I'll, I'll send this out to everybody and you can see how quick it is. Um, but so you can type in the email addresses or you can actually add a file, a single column file of email addresses um, you can either do a CSV, an Excel, XLS, or an XLSS. Um, and all you do is add the, the subject line and the message and you click send. And you can see this is a, a pre-populated template. So we already have this template that creates from the listing title, all of the important information um, and the listing header image. Um, and so, you know, people, already have constant contact and MailChimp, but this is included with membership. So there's really no reason not to use it. Um, and we don't collect your email addresses just so you know, it is proprietary. So um, definitely we recommend doing this. And you also can share your profile too, um, which is kind of cool. You can share all of your listings at once to, to your own email list. Um, 
That's not on today's agenda, but it is something that you can do. Um, and then the other email blast feature is actually, you can use our email list to send out an email blast. So all you need to do with that um, is just go to the marketing center again and click on uh, email blast and then pick your package. Um, and I will tell you, you get one complimentary email blast, so there's really no reason not to use it. Um, and after that, it's $25 for one blast, $100 for five blasts, or $200 for 12 blasts. And so we send this out to our marketing list in, in your geographic area. Um, we usually talk with the person to tailor the, the email blast list to your needs um, or your prospective clients. and um, we definitely recommend trying it. You know, email email marketing is not going away as much as anyone wants it to, and um, it is still the most effective way to market your listings. So definitely take advantage of the email blast feature. Um, so, and then the sorry. last, yeah, go ahead. Can I ask you a couple of questions. Yep. So <clears throat> you said there was one complimentary. Is that one complimentary just for, for the person, or is that one complimentary per listing? Uh, for for the user, so um, one complimentary blast per user um, to try it out and, and see how it does. Um, so yeah. So that would be one complimentary on one of the listings, and then the rest of it, if you wanted to do it as far as the listings, you'd have to you'd have to email blast um, exactly. pay for the email blast. Exactly. Yep. Okay. That is correct. Um, if we did it for every listing, uh, we might have to stop sending out emails because our uh, nope. <laughs> we start getting marked. No I, no, I totally understand. I totally understand. And are you guys are you guys solely commercial, or you have residential brokers that are on this as well? So commercial is the focus, but I think there is a large variety of uh, brokers on the site, especially with Keller Williams, who um, people are doing both. Or um, there's you know some some properties that are maybe mixed or um it's it's definitely predominantly commercial but we do have i think we even have um like an asset class for residential so you know we're not going to say no to listings um but commercial is our focus okay so that person that recommended the site that you just put up maybe 10 or 15 slides prior was that a residential property that when she did the blast on that or was that a commercial property it was a commercial property, but a residential broker saw the advertisement. Um, okay, so that that's the only reason like, I'm asking for a residential broker. Sorry. Oh, okay. Well, you know, yeah. Uh, just so you know, is that shows ads on the websites that you visit regularly or you know organically, where they show yeah. Google ads. Uh, so if you are going to you know ESPN.com and they're showing ads on there, and the person who's viewing uh, ESPN see uh is you know somebody who is who google thinks is likely to be interested in commercial real estate you know thanks to their machine learning and knowing absolutely everything about us uh and they'll serve that ad to them so you're getting it to a uh, an affinity group yeah and with with the affinity groups the nice thing too is that um it's really targeting the right people so it's um you know not necessarily targeting uh, Ten-year-olds who are searching uh, video games. If if you're a middle-aged broker searching video games, that's fine too. But it is kind of focused on the right demographic. So that's um, something. That's a question that we've gotten in the past, and uh, definitely important to touch upon. Um, so the last the last thing that we talked about was becoming a, a quantum lister, and I just want to show you guys kind of the the group of quantum listers that we have. Um, we have a lot and we look forward to continuing to do this. And you can see here that, you know, most of these people are getting over a thousand views on their, on their blog post. So um, this one is 1700 views. Um, Justine here, she's over a thousand. Uh, Louise has 2300 views on her uh, quantum lister blog. Um, Rick Recchio, he's a, uh, very well-known broker in the Western New York, Northwestern Pennsylvania network. He's never not on the phone making calls. He's powerhouse, and we're happy to have him as a quantum listing member. Um, a ton of quantum listers, and what I had mentioned earlier is 
when you become a quantum lister, not only does your uh, does your profile get posted on our blog, but also um, we send it out via email um, to our distribution list. And the other thing I had mentioned, was, which is cool, is that most of these people, when you do a Google search of their name, um, their quantum lister profile blog is showing up at the top of searches um, among the different sites of, of people's names. So that's always exciting because, you know, when you click on these, it's not just like their contact information or, um, you know, how many listings they have. It's really detailed answers about, you know, what they see. And then it shows their profile and it shows all their listings. So um, we really love these. We are every week I'm talking to people and I'm thinking, who's the next quantum lister? And it's just a really fun thing. And um, not only is it fun, but it really gets people exposure and it's free as long as you're a member. So definitely recommend doing that. Um, so could you, uh, can I ask one more question? Yeah. <clears throat> I know I'm being a pain in the butt, but. Oh, you're not paying um, So um, can you, can you click on Rhode Island or search for Rhode Island so I can see how many listings that are in Rhode Island right now on quantum? Yeah, sure. Another thing too is um, we recommend, uh, you know, expanding parameters on your search, uh, depending on how many listings there are in a particular area. So yeah, definitely not too many listings in Rhode Island right now. Um, only 18, but. Um, can, can you click on the, click on like maybe the, the zoom in so I can see what towns they are? So we have Woonsocket, uh, North Providence, Warwick, Pawtucket, uh, Central Falls. Um. <laughs> Do me a favor. Click in. Just click in on. Click in on the map. It's, it, oh yeah. I think those are. I think those are all me. To be honest with you. They're all you. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm at the top of the search. There you go. Yeah, those are all. Those are all my listings. Is there anybody else that's in Rhode Island right now? There is, yeah. I mean, I don't have it off the top of my head right now, but um, I mean, there. I'm quite sure that there is. We can definitely follow up on that. Um, I mean, in in Massachusetts, let's see, we have. So, so I must have a I must have a free account, or I'm just being syndicated through Build Out. Right I think now. it's coming in from Build Out. Yeah. You have a marketer uh, in your office, Michael, who does this stuff for you. Um, yeah, all those would be. You know, everything goes through me. It's, it's my team. Yeah, so I guess somebody on your team must have already connected you. And um, so I guess because of the way our system works with build out, your listings are coming through. It's just that um, you can't use all the features unless you're a, a paying member. So that's all. But they are. Okay. People can see your. So, so when I went on and I put my email in, um, so it, am I a, a, a free member through? Is that what is that what it is right now? Correct. Okay, so I'm a free member. So now all I got to do is just basically just pay the hundred bucks, and yeah. now I can use these features that you showed me, which I, which is you know yeah. I'm going to do obviously. I mean for that kind of price, it's well worth it. You know. Um, right. <clears throat> so now how do I do that? So I went in as we were talking here. I went into and I I hit I put my email address in, and then I kind of um, I I clicked to get. Because I didn't know my password, and I clicked to get my password, but nothing came up. So I just go in as a just go in and just basically just pay and, and through the email, and then I'll then everything will be able to be syndicated through Quantum. Yeah, you might, yeah, you'll do that. You um, yeah, I was gonna say like, on Quantum listing, you may have to change, do a make it change it on build out also, not your build out password, but your so that you don't lose the syndication link. You may have to go in and you know, just edit your password for quantum listing on build out also. But we'll work. Yeah, we'll Michael, we, can, we can do on a web meeting. Um, I can do a screen share. I'm doing that quite often with people because sometimes, like David said, if you change it, then the syndication might stop because the passwords have to match um, from from quantum listing to from build out to quantum listing. But um, it's 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 usually really simple. So happy to help you out with that. Um, okay, so, so gonna, it's, just, it's just something you have, so other people can get free sites, or is it just the people that are just through build-out? Just the build-out people. 
Okay, so then you guys must have a some kind of a um, you must have some kind of an agreement with KW to build out then, right? I wish we did. KW is very. <laughs> Um, I guess they've sort of changed the way they've done things over the years, and they're basically trying to push everything downstream to the agents. Uh, and so, right. So we, we we got there too late to have uh, have them pay us. Okay. So I'm just to review. I'm, the price, I'm um, just I'm just trying. I'm, go ahead. Can you do the number for because the, there's somebody else on the on the on the web. Go ahead. Oh yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, so so um, like I mentioned already, pricing is eighty nine dollars a year, a year, not a month, for unlimited listings. Um, listing promotion, which I showed you guys, brings your listings to the top of searches, is two dollars and fifty cents a week, or seven dollars and fifty cents a month per listing. Uh, the brand promotion, which is the little ad, either for yourself or for your team, is fifty dollars a month, one hundred twenty five dollars for three months and $400 for a year. Um, note that if you're looking to do the one for a year, we do have a package deal with membership so that instead of it being 400 plus 89, being 489, it is instead $425. So that is a little package deal we, we offer. Um, online advertisement, as we mentioned, it starts at $25 for a listing. Um, you can also do a $50 ad. Um, I think you can do a $100 ad, right, David? Um, yeah, you can do a hundred dollars. The only um, amount of time that the ad runs, so you know, twenty-five dollars will run for four or five days. A hundred dollars will run for you know two to three weeks. Right, right. Depending on the market, yeah. Um, and then the network email blast, as I mentioned, the first one's free. Uh, the second. One is either uh, $25 for one email, or if you want to buy a package, you can do $100 for five email blasts or $200 for 12 email blasts. Someone once asked, um, because I guess on some other sites, they restrict you on how many you can do in a certain amount of time. So we did $200 for 12, so that if you wanted, you could um, do one a month, but there's no rules around it. So it's not like if you did one in January, you have to do one in February. You could do two in March. Uh, it's really up to you. And there's no time expiration on this. So once you you buy it, you can use them. Um, okay. It's a blast email that we showed you that's sending an email to your own proprietary list of contacts. That is included with membership. And uh, you also, you get all the leads on your membership as long as you're an active Member. So that's another thing with with your question is, um, you know, when you're coming in from build out, um, you're technically not an active member. And when people look at your listings, it does say that you're an expired member and the leads do not necessarily come in. David and I do our best to give people phone calls to let them know that they have a lead. And we're oftentimes nice and we decide to give you the lead because we want everyone to have a good experience. We want you to have a good experience, but we also want to make sure the person who submitted their lead gets contacted. Um, but as long as you're a premium member, your leads come in via email and also on your profile page. Um, and then to get in touch with us, we have a giant how it works in with tons of articles. Uh, you could really spend days reading all of them. We have a lot of resources there. Um, schedule a demo that's really, really easy from the uh, pa from the top right page of any page on our site. Uh, you can click the green schedule a demo button and there's a variety of different options from uh, 15 minute demos to 60 minute demos. You can even sign up for virtual lunch with David. Uh, if you go to virtual-lunch.com, it brings you to quantum listing because that was something that we started during the pandemic and it's here to stay. Um, you also can use the intercom, which is at the bottom right hand corner of any page. Uh, it starts a chat with us and then we'll respond uh, as soon as we can to your question. Um, you can email support at quantumlisting.com. You can also email David at quantumlisting.com or you can email me, which is Julia at quantumlisting.com. And you can call our, uh, our number 844 QL1 list. So that is 844 uh, 
So that's another option. Um, and then we look forward to you continuing to be on our, our webinars. Um, as I mentioned, they're, they're Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific. Um, next week, we don't have a webinar, but the following week, we'll be with our friends at RealNext. Um, and we continue to, to post on our we continue to post on our blog every week too. So um, definitely uh, check that out. We we send them out via email too. But um, you're always welcome to check out all of our blog posts. So that is all that we have. Um, I, I do have one more question. <clears throat> so um, on the membership that you have, it is it all just realtor membership, or is there any investor membership? So investors, as if they're not adding listings, we have plenty of investors on our site and oftentimes they're uh, basic members because they're just searching or inquiring. Um, but they also sometimes want to utilize some of the features like maybe brand promotion, in which case they would become a um, premium member. Um, so it's kind of it's kind of divided up, but um, we do have investors using quantum listing as well. Okay, so do you know what the percentage is of investors that you have that are looking at your site? Because, I mean, obviously that's the biggest thing, right? Um, I mean, there's a couple of sites that we're on that have kind of like this, like Catalyst is kind of like the same thing, but there's no investors looking at it. It's all just brokers. Um, so what is your percentage of investors that are actually looking at the site, you know? Michael, but because there's no paywall to see the listings, as long as somebody is they're searching, they can automatically, you know, go to Google, search for whatever it is, you know, multifamily for sale in Rhode Island, and your listing will come up, and they'll be able to click on it and see it and contact you. So. Yeah, we, okay, we, see, we see leads coming in from capital groups all the time, um, and those people are submitting their information. But like David said, I mean, I'll show you. Um, it's it's pretty amazing, you know, if, if someone just clicks on any listing, they can go ahead and give that person a call. Uh, they don't have to worry about filling out a form or they can fill out a form, but they don't have to because we want that process to be as quick and smooth as possible. Um, so so David, they click on the form, are we getting any of their information, their email or their phone number or anything like that? Yeah, we you would get their first name, last name, email address, phone number, exactly, yep. So where are we getting that from? So they have to fill out something in order to get that okay. listing, right? If they fill, after 15 seconds, that right here, yeah. goes on your listing, it pops up, and it will, if you're signed in, it'll auto-populate that information if you're in a member. But if you're just a random person searching, then you fill in your name, email, and phone number, and click uh, add the request, and uh, then you'll get their contact information. Okay. Yeah, so this here auto populated because we're logged in as David's account. Um, but uh, I'm going on incognito mode, which basically means this is like if someone had never been to our site. Um, and you can see here that they can. Uh, you have to add parameters in there too. Yeah. There you go. Usually it works. Okay. You didn't type it. Um, right. With that? Now you're good. That's usually my hack, but I guess it doesn't work on incognito. Um, so you can go ahead and you know click on this listing, 15 Court Square, and you can click contact the agent, and then you submit all your information. Um, okay. And this same, this same form will pop up, like David said, after 10 to 15 seconds. Um, okay. Awesome. This listing's courtesy of our partners at Sharp Launch, which are yeah. One of our many partners that we work with. Um, okay. David, did you stop the recording? Or? Uh, no, I wanted to thank you, Julia, for doing the presentation today before I stop the recording. Oh, you're and, welcome. Yeah. For watching. I want to thank everybody, David, Julia, Scott. I guess he's thank a broker. You. Hey, Scott, Scott you're a broker out of where? Actually, marketing department for a brokerage company in Concha Oh, Pennsylvania. Awesome. Yeah, Pennsylvania. All right. Thanks for joining us today, Scott. All Thank right. you for having me. Yeah. And I'm definitely going to join, but I guess I got to do, uh, yeah. I got to figure out how to make sure that I don't lose my link from uh, build out. So, yeah, uh, if you want, have, I can help you after this. Uh, if you want some help, that we could. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably have. Uh,
Chris, who handles that build out for me, um, okay. reach out to you guys. All right. Um, you can also send I'm it. not tech savvy at all. I don't want to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should also know that um, if you have 12 or more agents that you're adding onto Quantum Listing from your office, then we cap it at uh, $999 a year so that uh, okay. we're trying to keep it reasonable. All right. Sounds good. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks. All right. Thanks, See you guys. Later, all. Bye-bye.